Okay. We're going to move on from the rights over the property for a minute. I'm distressed, sir. All right, we're going to move on from the rights over the property. This interview is being recorded. I'm PC Cobbler, attached to Barnet Police Station. The other officer present is... Uh, Gary Collins Head. He's also attached to Barnet Police Station. We're in interview room five at Collindale Police Station, and I am interviewing. Can you state your full name for me, please? Do I have to? You don't have to, uh, if you don't wish to. In that case, I will state it for you. It's Mr. Anthony Badaloo. I don't know there, what my name is anymore. There is no other person present. The date is the 1st of April 2015, and the time by my watch is... 1.35 oh p.m. This interview is being recorded and it may be given in evidence if your case is brought to trial. At the conclusion of the interview, I'll explain what happens to the discs. I must remind you that you do have the right to a free and independent legal advice. You can speak to a solicitor in private any time, day or night, and the legal advice is free. You can speak to a solicitor in person. If you do not want a solicitor in person, you can speak to one on the telephone. If you do want legal advice or you want a solicitor present, the interview can be delayed unless certain exceptions apply, which they don't. Do you want to speak to a solicitor or do you want a solicitor present at this interview? I don't understand this matter and I don't consent to anything. Okay, sir. As explained already, this is not about consent. This is a very simple question. Would you like a solicitor, free and independent legal advisor I here? I don't in the understand. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand. Okay, anything. so you seem to understand earlier, so I'm going to take that as a no. Is there any reason you'd like to tell me that you don't want legal advice? I don't understand all this, what you're saying. Right, okay. I must remind you that you are still under caution from when you're arrested. So just to, we do this for everybody that's arrested. So please don't take it personally, but we do break down and explain the caution. So the caution has three parts, so you do not have to say anything, you may, it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later on in court and anything you do say can be given in evidence. So the first part is you do not have to say anything. You have the right not to answer any of my questions. I would ask, just so that I know you've heard the question and you understood the question, that you just say no comment or you say if you don't want to answer. That's not you giving an answer, it's just you letting us know that you've actually heard. And that's all that is. If, obviously, you don't want to ask that. Obviously, hopefully, you will answer. Second part is the important part. This is your chance to give us your side of the story. Now, you're here so that we can talk about the matter, so we can discuss it, and we can... Did you say story? Yes, the incident. Oh. The, you know, your, your version of events. Okay? This is your opportunity to. If you don't tell us something now, and this matter is taken to court... The court may infer that there's a reason for you not telling us now and giving us an ample opportunity to investigate, and they may decide not to lend as much weight to that part of your account. And the last part is almost... When you said they may decide to not lend as much weight. It's up to the court what they decide not or not, and it's up to a, a magistrate or a juror what they believe. Could they also look at it the other way? I've never heard of that happening, but they could. Then the third part, as I said, is almost the most... rushing a bit for me, you know. As I said, the third part is almost the most obvious. This Anything that's said here, as you know, is being recorded both audio and visual through the cameras. And that can, obviously, if this is taken to trial, that disc will be taken with it. So anything that's said here is obviously can be given in court. And okay. uh, also... Right. Um, if, uh, if I can finish. Right. We are now going to start the actual bulk of the interview. Yeah, but you're, you're fast forwarding that bit, sir. No, I'm not. I've explained the caution. You've told me earlier when you were arrested that you understood the caution. Did you... I? Yes. I don't understand that. Right. You've been arrested today for three separate offences. The first of which is squatting in a residential premises or in a residential building. The second of which is criminal damage to that building. And the third of which is theft. We'll go through each of these as separate things, and we'll discuss them separately. So, we'll go through first the squatting in the residential premises. I have 
with me, and I have seen and confirmed with the court court documents to state that you have no legal right to be in that premises. You've been found there. Who is making the allegation? I've confirmed this afternoon with Barnet County Court. No, 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 no. That's not my question, sir. Right. The allegation of squatting in a residential property is being made by the police because you are living, or you were stated you were living. Who made the allegation to the police? The police is... Right. It's not the police. Sir. Uh, you know, you're saying the allegation is made by the police. I want to know sir, who I have made a, the allegation. Sir, I have attended... I'm sitting in a police station here. I've got things to do, and you're interviewing me, and all I'm asking you, right, sir... Right, sir, as I've explained... Who this has made the allegation? Sir, as I've explained, this interview is not the opportunity for you to try to cross-examine police officers. I'm this, not cross-examining. Sir, I'm saying, uh, if uh, you'd uh, let me finish, please. Who has this made an interview, allegation against sir, me? This interview... Well, I, I don't want to participate in it. Right, sir, you don't have I, to participate. I can't, can't in that, participate that's fine, in an sir. interview. As, I've, expl as I've explained, sir, I will continue the interview and I will ask you questions. If you don't wish to answer them, that is your right. Look, are you qualified to interview me on yes, the I basis am. that you came to my house in December with Christopher Williams, who has run away now, accusing me of being a tenant and not paying my rent for two years and also being squatting in my own property where I have proprietary rights and I'm on the land registry and there's a fraud restriction. Are you qualified, bearing in mind this is with the IPCC now, are you qualified to be talking to me now, sir? Yes, I am, sir. And you're in custody because of this incident. As I've explained, this I is have not... I have explained, from Derden, who I have come in here five weeks in a row, including yesterday, and he sir. said to me very clearly, Mr. Badaloo, no one is going to come here and arrest you. Here is my mobile. Anything, give it to them. And he said that to me three weeks in a row. Sir, and I on have the basis that you, Mr. Pa Paul, can I see your name there, sir? Paul, you have unlawfully come to my house and accused me of not paying my rent for two years, of being a tenant of squatting in, a, in my own property where I'm the proprietor at the land registry with a fraud restriction assisted by the serious fraud office. Okay, and now sir. you're telling sir, me you're I independent. If I can now put... No, sir, I've never said I'm independent. I'm the arresting officer. I'm not independent. I'm the investigating officer. That is a very different matter. Now, if I can put to you, I have in front of me, dated the 19th of March 2014, signed by the... Signed by who, sir? Signed, signed by... Signed by who? If you would let me finish my sentence. I don't see a signature sentence. there, sir. I'm a fool, but I don't see a signature if there. If you would let me you finish my sentence... You said signed. Sentence. Where is the sign, Mr. Sir, Officer? I ask you to calm down. If you keep I, becoming aggressive, you, I will cancel you the You cannot interview. make false accusation on me and ask me to calm sir, down, sir. Sir, please stop shouting at me. You are stirring me up by making false accusations and telling Mr. lies. Mr. Badalo, as I ex was trying to explain... I cannot calm down under these circumstances. If you stop shouting at me and let me finish what I'm saying... You will then hear I do not wish the to charge against this you. Interview. I, I do don't care. We're you. proceeding anyway. It's I, not I your don't decision whether you it. Interviewed. And I, right. I think, I, I think On the 14th allowed. of March 2014, District Judge Parfat sitting at Barnet County Court, St Mary's Court, Regent's Park Road, London N3. Upon hearing the defendant in person, hearing counsel for the claimant, the court orders that the defendant, being Mr Anthony Badalou, give the claimant, being Kleinwert Benson, possession of 180 Churchill Road, East Barnet, EN4, 8PP, on or before the 11th of April 2014. Money claim adjourned generally. Permission to extend time to file a defence is refused. Claim 3BT01442 is struck out. Permission to appeal refused. Appeal to circuit judge. Permission to both parties to restore claim, and if there is a dispute regarding the account between the parties. I have then spoken to the county court this afternoon to confirm that, that order is the latest order and nothing has superseded it. At which point they have told me that the last order made was on the 17th of December 2014, where it was ordered by a circuit judge, stating that the matter was concluded, that the claim by Mr Badaloo has been struck out, and that the matter was now concluded with an order to make no further application to the court regarding this incident or this matter. The court has stated that property does not belong to you. They have removed your rights to it. This was explained to you on the 7th of November when court account bailiffs or court account sheriffs came to your property and evicted you. 
You then re-entered the property and you were evicted a second time on the 12th of December, which is, as you said earlier, when myself and PC Williams, along with another officer, did attend to prevent a breach of the peace. Once again, family was evicted. The property at that time had large metal shutters put over the doors and windows. Sir, the property was restored sir. to the lawful can, can, owners can according have, to the can, court. Can we have one mm. sentence at a time, please? You're running away. This is because, sir, if I don't keep talking, you shout at me and you do not let me finish. I don't wish to shout at you, but... So, if you let me finish telling you what you're here for... With lie after lie after lie and misrepresentation. Right, sir. This is not misrepresentation, me sir. Chance. If you let me finish I, I my, if you right, let me finish the I account, I have a right to, to be heard, sir. Okay, and I will give you ample opportunity to be heard in this interview. There will be plenty of time for that. Well, if you will let me continue to tell you what the charges are, I'm threatened. I'm being harassed, bullied, and threatened right here. You're showing me false documents. You're lying to right, me. Right, sir. You have sir, reason. I'm not here to discuss whether you believe the documents are true or not. The documents have been confirmed well, with the court that they I are true. If, 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 if I can't say it, it's a... You just showed me a piece of paper, sir, and said this is a signed document, and you were lying. No, sir. Signed document from a court does not mean that there's a physical signature on it. It means it has been sworn by a judge that that document is correct. As I explained to you, I've spoken to the court myself today. They've agreed that. Now, as I was saying, on the 12th of December at 180 oh, you speak about Churchill Road... Sir, I'm not going to go into that now. We're going to go into that in a second well, when we break sir, it down look further. Sir. Right. Look, sir. At 180 Churchill Road, um, shuttering was put over the doors and windows. You have then, since that time, forced re-entry, removed all the shuttering, which is changing the purpose of the objects, not owned by yourself, owned by the bank, according to the courts, therefore causing criminal damage. That shuttering has then disappeared. You had moved it or taken it away somewhere. When asked at the property this morning where the shuttering was so it could be restored to the owner, you refused to answer. At that time, you had taken items unlawfully that did not belong that did not belong to yourself. Therefore, you had dishonestly appropriated them. They did not belong to yourself. Where did you get this information? Sir, Is it I the got same place you got the information that says there was a tenant and didn't pay my rent for two years? I've, never said, you, I've never said you were you a tenant, You did, sir. sir, and you're on video saying it. So don't no, say. sir. You were... The mortgagee and the mortgager being That's the bank. That's not what you said when you came around with Christopher Williams. That's not what you said. Right, sir. And it's on video. It's with the IPCC. You got no right to be lying on top of lies and coming here and assisting fraudsters and criminals. And I do not know where you stopping me from speaking to PC to, to Sergeant Dearden. Because you're handling this for six weeks in a row. Because you're currently in custody. Sergeant Dayton is not here. I am. I am the officer that's dealing with this. Well, I am the I officer, sir. I do not wish. Sir, I, I am the officer. There is a miscarriage of justice. Sir, there is criminal sir uh, look, I when you're arrested in the UK, you do not have the option of who investigates it. That option belongs down, uh, resolves with the police. The police have opted well, I cannot be interviewed by someone sir, who has police... done wrong and is being investigated on the IPCC. This is no country where this is going to be Actually, sir, let me just say, for the interview record here, I am not being investigated by the IPCC. You're probably not aware yet. If you're the IPCC open an investigation to any officer, the first thing they do is to contact that officer. They have not. Well, I have There evidence. is no current I, I investigation. Have that they have... That's very nice, sir. You also have explained to me that you've got evidence that you own the property when I've proved that to be incorrect. You what have you've not, not done me for any evidence, and you called me a tenant, and you said I haven't paid my rent for two years. Right, and I want to know where you got that information from, sir. Right, sir. I'm going to carry on here. On the seventh of November, two thousand fourteen. I, 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 I don't want to carry on. I don't want to. I don't want to carry on. I, I'm, sir, I'm, I'm distressed. as I've explained, I'm, I am distressed. I am being sir. framed up. I'm being lied to. I'm being sir, I've, 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 sir, I've, I've explained. You've been arrested for an offence today. A property snatching gang. And this is what I am in a closed ring. Okay? And someone in here called Sergeant Deard and is investigating it five weeks in a row. He told me no one will come to my house. Okay, Sergeant Deard is not investigating anything to do with this as far as I'm concerned. Well, as that's what you said last time. You said last time, you said Sergeant Purdy is not investigating anything. And you looked at the computer and there was nothing there. And I asked someone else, Mr. Wilkinson, and he said, yes, it's here. Okay, so you, sir. you sir, sir, were either very badly mistaken or you were lying. Right, sir. Let me clarify what you told me last time, what I said. You told me last time that Mr. De Purdy, Sergeant Purdy, was investigating fraud against yourself by the banks. Sergeant Purdy 
is a colleague and a friend of mine. I spoke to him directly. He at no point has investigated any fraud. What he investigated... Did you speak to him before you came to my house? Yes. And I've spoken to him since. That's not what you said. You said you looked at... This is on video, my friend. And friends. I had. This I had also video. looked at... You said you looked at the computer and there's nothing there. Sir, I had looked it up. I'm not willing to stand here and get into an argument well, with I don't want to I don't want to have this interview. Sir, you, sir, as I've I don't explained, understand what you're all doing. Sir. I don't understand it. As I've explained... Um, I don't consent to... As I've explained this. repeatedly, an interview when you're in custody is not your choice, nor is it something that you need to consent to. If you don't wish to answer any questions, don't answer the questions. That is absolutely all right. However, this is part however, of the fraud we and a property are snatching scam. However, we Simple. are obligated to put Serious the questions to you. Serious fraud got a marker on the title, and you are a police officer. You said you are looking into the matter. You should know that. Actually, sir, I have. Before coming today, this morning, I did further checks on the intelligence on the building. There are no fraud markers on that building by any agency. I showed so I put so it to I you, showed, you are either mistaken showed, or lying to me. I showed, I will I showed Sergeant Dearden yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. okay? I will continue. Yesterday I showed him. I will continue. But the I don't want to continue. took place on the 7th of November 2014 when you were given a this is harassment. notice of eviction. I don't want to continue. This is not harassment, this sir. You are currently in custody. All lies and damn cases. lies. I, it's all lies and damn lies. I had enough of it. Okay. Pieces of paper. Pieces of paper. I don't consent to anything. I don't understand all this, what's there. I don't understand it. Okay. We're going to move on from the rights over the property for a minute. I'm distressed, sir. All right, we're going to move on from the rights over the property. Do you agree that there were metal shutterings put over the doors and windows? No comment. Did you remove metal shutterings from the doors and windows? On removing the shutterings, did you have any legal right to do so? When you took the shuttering down and you were asked where the shuttering had been put, you refused to answer. Is that correct? Whilst, once you'd refused to answer, it was put to you that you would be arrested for theft of the items because you had refused to return them, therefore you were intending to deprive someone of them. Is that correct? I put it to you that you took the items down, you hid them in a neighbour who happens to be a member of the family's garage in order to deprive the company that legally owned them. Is that incorrect? That's no comment. At which point, as Mr. Badaloo has obviously refused to listen to us refusing to talk and states he doesn't consent to an interview, this interview is terminated. The time now is 1.50.